Out of the many hundreds of inventors that helped shape the modern world, few, if any, received as much enduring fascination as Nikola Tesla. Born in modern-day Croatia in 1856, Tesla's contributions to modern society are often forgotten in favor of his more celebrated contemporaries. Nevertheless, Tesla's undeniable genius has led to constant reappraisals of his legacy, and each time the world takes a closer look at his story, new mysteries come to the fore. Even now, we owe a huge debt to Nikola Tesla for the alternating currents powering our homes. This is perhaps his most famous invention of all, yet there are many more projects that he failed to get off the ground. Tesla was an inventor through and through, but he wasn't quite as savvy when it came to the business side of things. As a result, many of his greatest creations never saw the light of day, and with his death now 80 years behind us, we can only wonder what other brilliant innovations he could have brought to the world if given the chance. As he reached the end of his life, Tesla retreated inward, spending around a decade in relative seclusion in room 3327 of the New Yorker Hotel. In this time, he began to appreciate some of the simpler joys in life, showing a particular love for pigeons. However, he did more than just cater to the more sensitive side of his personality, for in this final decade, the inventor came up with some of his boldest concepts yet, including anti-gravity, limitless free energy, and of course, the fabled Death Ray. Tesla jotted each of his ideas down in his little-known black notebook. You can imagine what sorts of wonders it had in its pages. But unfortunately, the US government seized it along with his other belongings shortly after his death. What mysterious inventions did Tesla mention in this little black book? Clearly, they had the potential to change the world. For what other reason could the US government have to seize it? As it turns out, the Tesla family recently broke their long-held silence, revealing some shocking truths about his life and shedding light on his fantastical inventions, which many thought to be outright myth. Join us as we uncover the secrets behind the life of Nikola Tesla and his nearly forgotten inventions that predicted the modern world nearly a century ahead of time. Nikola Tesla was always a curious individual, ever since he was a little boy. As the story goes, the young Tesla could often be found lost in thought, dreaming up inventions that grown scientists couldn't begin to fathom. According to most sources, Tesla could create entire machines in his head, piecing all the parts together before he put anything to paper. All of the intricate cogs would mesh perfectly once they were fixed together in the real world, so Tesla's brain was a veritable treasure trove of innovation. While he possessed a formidable natural intellect, Nikola Tesla was helped in no small part by his mother, who herself was a respectable inventor with a sound creative mind. She encouraged her son to explore his creative vision, while his father, a priest, taught him to appreciate the humanities. As a result, Nikola Tesla was a far cry from other cold, calculating inventors of the 19th and 20th centuries. He had none of the hubris, arrogance, and self-centeredness that defined innovation during this time period, instead adopting a multifaceted approach that combined science and philosophy. In the years following his death, the story of his life quickly turned into a myth, with various legends being associated with him. Of course, many of these theories seem outright fictional, and the vast majority of them seem like they are ripped from science fiction novels, rather than being the result of actual scientific practice. During his decade-long stint in the New Yorker Hotel, rumor had it that Nikola Tesla came up with ideas such as the Death Ray, which would have been one of the most powerful weapons in the world, bringing down every single plane in a given radius. Other inventions such as an anti-gravity ray that would have defied the laws of physics are spoken of as well, albeit in hushed, uncertain tones. Most people didn't think these inventions could actually exist, with some even suggesting that Tesla had never worked on them. Then again, Tesla's descendants have made statements that proved his critics and naysayers wrong, and they all have to do with the predictions he made about the modern world. After all, Nikola Tesla was above all else a thinker, a man of ideas, someone that tried to visualize the future and turn it into reality. Over the course of his career, Nikola Tesla made numerous predictions about modern society. These predictions shaped his inventions as well, but they largely went unnoticed, with many members of the scientific establishment labeling him a crackpot. Indeed, it wouldn't be a stretch to say that Nikola Tesla was the origin of the mad scientist trope. Although he definitely worked for good rather than for evil, you need only take a look at some of his predictions to understand just how prescient and progress the man was, especially for someone born during the 19th century. In the aftermath of the Industrial Revolution, 
human society had started to reevaluate some long-held notions about the nature of the world. Much like in the Age of Enlightenment a century prior, new forms of thought were emerging, but the world also began to take a more conservative turn after the chaos of the 18th century revolutions wreaked havoc across Europe. Despite the largely conservative sentiment of the era, Nikola Tesla stood out as someone that believed in a better tomorrow. For one thing, he had two revolutionary ideas that were so far ahead of their time, it would be like someone today talking about time machines. Firstly, Tesla predicted that the world would consist of an interconnected web of information. In his view, the people of the future would be able to communicate instantly with one another, sending messages to devices small enough to fit into their pockets. With the birth of the smartphone, or even the regular cell phones that preceded it, Tesla's prediction came true. The internet is another example of the connected web of information he conceived, so Nikola Tesla was proven right more than once. He was over a century early to the party, so it's understandable that so many other inventors couldn't make heads or tails of his wild theories. That said, the veracity of his claims suggests that there was far more to the man than meets the eye. What other predictions did he make about modern society, and how did they stack up as time went by? Apart from his interconnected information theory, Nikola Tesla was also a strong proponent of renewable energy. In a day and age where burning coal was the single most popular energy source in the world, the consequences of which we're still dealing with as the global climate heats up, Tesla felt that we should take energy from the world around us. Just picture, if you will, a 19th century man hearing some strange Croatian fellow from the Austrian Empire talk about making energy from thin air. In the modern age, we know that solar power is a very real and viable energy solution, yet in that era, it would have sounded about as realistic as faster than light travel. Our perceptions of reality change as humanity's scientific understanding progresses, but every so often, a maverick thinker is capable of seeing decades if not centuries into the future. Nikola Tesla was clearly a member of this elite club, and his predictions about renewable energy certainly seem to support this narrative. Tesla's intellect went well beyond technological progress, for he was uniquely supportive of women's rights. The 19th century inventor went well beyond simply wanting to give women the right to vote, going so far as to suggest that women would be able to surpass men in all scientific fields if given the chance. It's likely that his scientist mother showed him the inherent equality of women and men, but even so, the concept of gender equality was downright laughable in those days. However, Nikola Tesla was not one to water down his beliefs regardless of what other people thought. He was fully committed to the idea of women being equal, and sure enough, he was proven to be on the right side of history. Some of humanity's most impressive achievements would have been impossible if women were shut out of the scientific community. During Tesla's own lifetime, Marie Curie revolutionized the field of chemistry, and in the 20th century, Judith Cohen created the abort guidance program that brought the crew of Apollo 13 back home safely. Most think of Tesla as a physicist and an engineer, but his predictions went well beyond the limitations of these fields. The inventor also posited mind-blowing theories about consciousness, suggesting that it resided somewhere other than the human mind. He also had some thoughts about neuroplasticity, which modern-day scientists are already working with to crack the mysteries of human consciousness. With so many correct predictions under his belt, Nikola Tesla showed his keen understanding of the human condition. It also makes some of his more fantastical inventions such as the death ray seem like they could have been in the works, but with the loss of his black book to the US government, these creations seemed lost to the sands of time. Luckily, Tesla's descendants have decided to speak up at long last. For a while, they remained rather silent about their famous ancestor, preferring to uphold his legacy without making any direct comments about some of the mysteries of his life. With their startling revelations coming to the fore, we now have some inkling of the truth. For one thing, it turns out that each of his planned inventions were actually in his black book. According to the Tesla family, Nikola Tesla was indeed working on a death ray. This could potentially change how we think about the inventor, since up until this point, he was seen as a man of science rather than a man of war. How can we rationalize his legacy as a peaceful inventor if he was trying to create weapons of mass destruction? Well, Nikola Tesla had a decidedly different approach from that of, say, J. Robert Oppenheimer. 
The head of the Manhattan Project might have been unaware of the full destructive potential of his creation, but he was nevertheless clearly working on a weapon that could take the lives of millions of people. The same can be said of Tesla's death ray, even though he never managed to create it, but his family revealed that he had rather peaceful intentions for it. Instead of wanting it to be used as a tool of conquest and suppression, Nikola Tesla thought of it as more of a deterrent. This holds some similarities the modern concept of nuclear deterrence. The main goal of this machine was to prevent airplanes from coming too close to a given area. During World War II, air raids from the German Luftwaffe laid waste to entire British cities, and if Tesla had had the opportunity to create his so-called death ray, countless lives could have been saved. Tesla's family has referred to the death ray as more of a peace ray. This is an important aspect of shaping his legacy, for each invention needs to be seen in the correct context. Tesla never would have liked it if his death ray was used to conquer foreign lands, even though this was a naive way to view things. No matter what his plans for the device were, we shudder to think of what it could have brought if it fell into the wrong hands. Nikola himself didn't even use the death ray terminology. He called it teleforce, and he used electromagnetic propulsion to launch compressed matter shaped into slugs into the sky. He was inspired by the Van de Graaff generator, and in 1934 during his decade-long stint as a recluse, he took it to the next level. Tesla planned to create charged particle beams, yet another example of how his work had a science fiction tint to it long before the literary genre came into being. That said, Nikola Tesla had more to offer than weaponry, whether of a defensive or offensive nature. Many of his findings had to do with the field of propulsion, with the death ray itself using electromagnetic propulsion to achieve its goals. Other than that, Tesla also wanted to use a unique anti-gravity propulsion system, and his family has now confirmed that this was another invention that was, in fact, working on. As ridiculous as it might sound, Tesla wasn't just making shots in the dark here. Towards the end of his life, he was working on a new theory of matter and energy well before Albert Einstein became the foremost physicist in the world. He began working on this theory in 1892, and by 1937, he developed a new way to think about gravity. Einstein's theory of relativity laid the foundation for modern physics, but if Nikola Tesla had been given his chance to shine, Einstein may have been just another scientist that proposed something that turned out to be incorrect. In Tesla's view, concepts like curved space, which were critical to the theory of relativity, weren't all that they were cracked up to be and he wanted to use this gravitational theory to essentially beat the laws of physics. Anti-gravity propulsion would have had enormous implications for air travel and even space travel. Humanity required rocket fuel propulsion to reach the moon, but with Tesla's unique propulsion system, humanity had the opportunity for a cleaner, more sustainable way to enter the realm of the stars. Energy was at the heart of many of Tesla's obsessions, which is why he was such a strong proponent of alternating current from the very beginning. He didn't just want to come up with efficient ways to transport energy from one place to another either. Nikola Tesla also envisioned a future where energy could be free and limitless. Such a notion has the capacity to save the world as modern society's need for energy has gone up, yet energy supplies remain limited at least until solar and hydropower technology advances somewhat. However, Tesla was thinking beyond solar energy and powering generators through tidal forces. As a staunch humanist, Tesla believed that we should all live in harmony with the environment, and energy sources that spew toxic gases into the atmosphere clearly didn't align with his vision. Another of his baffling claims was that he could extract free energy from the ground below us. This would have utilized the natural vibrations of the ground below us which is in stark contrast to the steam-based power that practically every other energy resource is used for. Whether it's coal, nuclear energy, or oil, the fuel source is used to generate steam, which can then turn turbines at high speeds to create abundant electricity. In Tesla's plan, the entire equation would have used a completely different set of principles, which just goes to show how unique he was within the scientific community. Between teleforce, Anti-gravity and energy form the Earth's own vibrations. The sum total of Tesla's intellectual prowess could have created a very different world today. We might have never put the planet on the path to climate catastrophe in the 20th century. The nuclear destruction of Nagasaki and Hiroshima would have been unnecessary if Teleforce had downed the jets headed to Pearl Harbor, and there's no telling how rapidly anti-gravity propulsion would have allowed us to travel. The greatest inventions he ever came up with 
all of which are now confirmed by his descendants, will now always be the stuff of legend. Few if any notes survive about these miraculous innovations, so humanity will have to make do with whatever we can learn from his life and teachings nowadays. It's all thanks to the Tesla family that we can begin to parse his legend, and in doing so, they're not just revealing the inventions that stayed within the realm of his imagination. Many of them, while not having been invented by Tesla himself, were still invented by other scientists around the world. Tesla apparently planned to invent a method by which radio signals could be transmitted around the world, and even though his own theories never made it out of his little black book, radio transmission was one of the most pivotal inventions of the first half of the 20th century. Similarly, Tesla had another theory about treating illnesses with electricity. Remember, he had a uniquely holistic view of the world, recognizing just how closely connected seemingly disparate scientific fields could be. You may think of psychiatry and physics as completely unrelated to each other, yet Tesla saw things where no one else did. He proposed a way to use electrical signals to modify the human mind, potentially curing the mysterious illnesses that seemed to plague it. Sigmund Freud's psychoanalysis revealed some untold truths about the way we perceive the world, but even he couldn't have thought that electromagnetic signals would be the key to curing the afflictions that cause so much suffering in human society. Once again, we see Tesla's theories holding water in the present day. Electroconvulsive therapy might not be the cure-all that Nikola Tesla thought it was, but it's still a common treatment for various forms of chronic depression and PTSD. As you can clearly see, Tesla felt that electricity held solutions to many of the world's problems. He wanted to find a way to generate it from thin air, manipulate in ways few could even fathom, and find uses for it that took the rest of the world decades to recognize. Among his many forays into electrical engineering, Tesla's peculiar oscillator stands out the most. Based on his blueprints, we now know that the oscillator used high concentrations of steam to generate movement in pistons. Motion at such high speeds and the vibrations it created ended up generating electricity, and when combined with advanced methods of steam production, it had the ability to shift the global paradigm in a multitude of ways. Tesla wasn't shy about promoting his oscillator once famously claiming that it caused an earthquake in New York in 1898. This led to the electromagnetic oscillator being dubbed Tesla's earthquake machine, although it is fairly unlikely that it would have had such an enormous impact on the Earth's tectonic plates. This is an example of Tesla's marketing prowess, which just goes to show that he wasn't always a reclusive inventor who shut himself away from the world. He knew exactly how to drum up buzz for his inventions, using incredible tales to craft an enigmatic cult of personality that people still believe in to this very day. This raises the question, why was Tesla unable to successfully create these profound inventions? Why did they never escape the pages of his black notebook? The answer lies in the new economic paradigm of the past few centuries, capitalism. While Tesla managed to secure patents for several of his inventions, many others were stolen right from under his nose. Perhaps the biggest hurdle to him reaching his true potential and fulfilling his destiny as a titan of industry was his protracted conflict with none other than Thomas Edison. Most people know Edison as the creator of the light bulb, but closer inspection of the historical record casts some doubts over this. While Edison certainly had a knack for self-promotion, often using underhanded tactics to market his patented technology to the world, he usually relied on a team of hired scientists in Menlo Park. Edison's greatest skill was finding talented individuals to work from him, and Nikola Tesla was one such genius he hired. Just like Silicon Valley today, Menlo Park was a hotbed of invention, yet Edison was one of the few people that managed to capitalize off of the innovation and turn it into profit. This often left deserving inventors like Nikola Tesla in the dust, and things started to spiral out of control when differences arose between him and his employer. For one thing, Tesla and Edison had competing views on electricity transmission. As we've already mentioned, Tesla believed the alternating current was the way to go. Edison, on the other hand, put all his chips on direct current, and in a notorious public display, he electrocuted an elephant to convince people that alternating current was too dangerous to use. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to see how he was manipulating the truth here. Any electrical current, whether alternating or direct, has the capacity to be lethal in specific situation. Regardless, the people of this era still saw electricity as a dangerous new creation, and they weren't able to parse fact from fiction after Edison's deadly display. The main benefit of alternating current was that it had a far longer range than direct current. The only problem was, 
it required a complete revamping of contemporary electrical infrastructure. With direct current, the problem of short-range transmission seemed innocuous, considering it could fit neatly into the pre-existing framework. This is a great example of how innovation can be misunderstood if the world hasn't caught up yet. Some of the keenest intellects in history faced social exclusion, government intervention, and even imprisonment for their ideals. When Galileo Galilei proposed that the sun was at the center of the solar system instead of the earth, he was forced to recant his position by the church for fear of losing his life. While Nikola Tesla's life was never in danger, his ideas were met with a similar level of hostility. People didn't want to think so far ahead into the future. They wanted immediate gratification and that perception of technology hasn't gone away in subsequent decades. The previously mentioned elephant electrocution event was just one of many components in Edison's campaign to discredit his competitor. Tesla was in danger of losing his well-deserved legacy, but he got an edge over Edison in 1893 when he successfully displayed the value of alternating current at the Chicago World's Fair. Backed by prominent investor George Westinghouse, Tesla was able to show the world that Edison's campaign was being conducted in bad faith. However, the damage had already been done, and Tesla was never able to recover from Edison's betrayal. For all his accomplishments, Edison's legacy is defined by his treatment of his former employee. Instead of recognizing Tesla's vision, Edison tried to keep humanity at a technological standstill, all so that he could turn a profit. To make things worse, Edison tried to cheat Tesla out of a hefty financial reward for his invention. He'd been promised a $50,000 bonus, about $1.5 million in today's currency, for a design requested by Edison. But upon completing it, he was told to accept a moderate salary bump instead. Bear in mind, Tesla earned a salary of $100 per month, so this was a barefaced attempted by Edison to scam his worker. Luckily, George Westinghouse was able to save the day purchasing an induction motor from the inventor for $100,000, equivalent to $3 million today, with the promise of future royalties. With his financial future secure, Tesla set about working on his more esoteric inventions, leaving the more consumer-facing innovation to the greedy capitalists he wanted to leave behind. Over the years, Edison and Tesla locked horns time and time again, with the so-called Wizard of Menlo attempting to compete with his former employee, in the fields of X-ray imagery among others. The constant competition weighed on Tesla, who just wanted to make the world a better place, so it's easy to understand why he spent the last decade of his life in self-imposed exile. That said, Tesla himself had some flaws when it came to money management. Even the smartest men in history aren't all powerful, and Tesla's greatest weakness was his inability to handle his finances. He wasted precious resources working on theories that were far too advanced for the technology of the era. Things got more complicated when his financier, Westinghouse, faced financial problems and was unable to keep paying him royalties. Hence, you could say that Tesla was born too early for his own good. Had he been born in the 20th century, he may have been a historical genius on par with Einstein or Newton, but instead, he's been relegated to second-tier status despite so many of his theories coming true in the long run. In the end, Tesla was a victim of his time. All of his potential was squandered, and only those inventions that had a basis in the technology of the era saw the light of day thanks to the efforts of other scientists. As for inventions like the death ray, anti-gravity, and free energy, they remain an enduring aspect of his legacy, which to many has become a myth in its own right. The last two patents he ever filed were for methods and apparatus for aerial transportation. Once again, we have no clue about what secrets he held, but he undoubtedly wanted to use them to further the burgeoning field of air travel. The Wright brothers successful took to the skies in 1902, and around 26 years later, Tesla was eager to take their findings to the next level. Of the many things that made Tesla so unique, his desire to collaborate and expand on the inventions of others is particular intriguing. While most inventors sought to forge their own path, Tesla would await any news of technological advancement, and he would immediately get to work to see how he could play his part. Now that his family's confirmed that he'd been working on his greatest inventions during his last days, we're left to ponder the world that could have been. His theory of interconnected communication webs predicted the age of the internet. His desire for clean energy is now one of the biggest pursuits in the world, and alternating current is now widely accepted to be the superior form of electrical transmission. These secrets reveal the man behind the myth. They humanize him by adding nuance to his story, 
Yet many would agree the truth is so much stranger than fiction. What sort of mind could even conceive of an anti-gravity device, let alone work on it? Only someone like Nikola Tesla, someone that refused to accept the status quo and was committed to shaping the world he wanted to see. What are your thoughts about Nikola Tesla's family confirming his wildest theories and creations? Do you think the inventor could have pulled them off if given the chance? Let us know in the comments below. Please leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and as always we'll see you in the next one.